Hey guys, Jared from Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie a cool little Euro Nymph fly. It's called the Duracell. Very simple, couple of ingredients, and works really well as either a fat mayfly or a good solid caddis pattern. You can change up the colors. We're going to tie it in the original color here with a gold bead, and we're going to get started on it right now. So in the vise today, I have a size 14 barbless jig hook, an Umpqua C300BL. So a barbless jig hook and a gold tungsten bead to match. And of course it's a slotted bead because we're using a jig hook today. So the first thing I want to do, and this is optional, but I like to do it. I'm just going to seat the bead with a little bit of lead wire. And I have 0.20 lead wire. I'm just going to take a couple of wraps. And this is only going to like I said, seat my bead. Oops, I should get that oriented in the right way. Push that there. Tuck my lead. There we go. So I just have my bead oriented in the correct position and it's not going to go anywhere. This is also going to help a little bit with my taper. So the next thing I'm going to do is just start my thread. And for thread today, I'm using Uni 6 aught in a brown. You could use a number of brown threads. UTC is good because it's flat. Uh, I just have this uni today. So we're going to start our thread right behind this lead. And this is going to help push that lead right up against the bead so it doesn't go anywhere. Let's get rid of our little tag. The next thing I'm going to do is tie on my tail. And for a tail, I have Coq de Leon in a medium pardo. So I'm going to grab a good number of these fibers. Um, I like thicker tails. You'll see a lot of your nymphs with, you know, six, eight fibers. I have probably 10 here. Um, I just like to see my tail. So I have a good little chunk there and I'm going to take a measurement and I want it to be, you know, roughly the length of that hook shank. You can vary this up, of course. So I'm going to transfer my measurement to my other hand, start this right behind the bead, tie it in on my side of the shank and roll it around. That is way too long, so we messed up our measurement. We can just pull this back right about there. Let's roll on top. It's a nice long but good tail. So we'll bring that right up to behind our lead and then snip it free. So the next thing I'm going to tie in is UTC wire and red. And for this size hook, I have a brassy. I like a nice pronounced rib on my fly. So I'm going to use brassy wire, which is the thickest wire that UTC offers. So, oops. So we're going to tie this in right behind our lead. Helps with our taper. My side of the hook and bring it all the way back. And we might have messed up our tail a little bit, but we'll adjust. So let's bring our thread back up. And the next thing we're going to do is tie in our body. So for the body today, I have some ice dub in a UV brown. This stuff can be hard to work with. So I like to do it in very little chunks. So just a little bit at a time. And I'm just gonna dub it on nice and light, get it spread out and then tighten it up. You can see I'm struggling a little bit. It's hard to dub and it's hard to dub thin. And right now I want a relatively thin body. You can change this up. It looks good with a thick body as well. This shank on this hook just seems to be a little short to me and looks a little bit better with a nice thin body. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and then I'm gonna work this back here. And I want my dubbing to start right as I get that back. And then we'll bring this up. We might have to tighten this up as we go. Like I said, this stuff does not like to dub well onto thread. So we'll just keep this going. I'm gonna go a little bit up onto my lead. And I got extra here, so we'll get rid of that. Tighten that up again. And we'll just finish out our body. So we got a nice little taper. We left some space behind the bead for the thorax. And now we're just gonna rib this. So nice spiral open wraps here. So you can see that nice red color. And then right there, and we'll just capture it. And then I like to bring my 
bobbing up to support this while I helicopter this off. And then we're good to go. So the next material we're going to tie in, and you can tie in a couple different colors here. Slate, done, natural done, uh, CDC. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I like this slate color. I think it looks good. It's a good contrast with this brown ice stub. And the easiest way for me to tie this in is to take a whole feather and wrap it just like a traditional collar on a wet fly. So we're just going to take our CDC here and tie it in by the tip. We're going to get a couple of nice tight wraps and then fold this little tip back so we can really capture that and make sure it doesn't pull out. And then I'm going to take my hackle pliers, grab the stem, and we'll just start wrapping and folding this back. Nice and gentle here. This stuff is relatively fragile. I think I'm giving up on the hackle pliers. We're just going to use our fingers. And we're just pulling this around, folding the fibers back. And you can vary how dense you want this collar. I like it pronounced, but not too thick. So that's two or three wraps, and we'll just tie that off. That looks good to me. And we'll come in here and just get rid of our stem. Perfect. Well, look what we did. Nice and sparse. Looks pretty good to me. Kind of pull that back there. And then we'll grab a, the remaining chunk of our ice stub here. And we're going to make a nice little thorax with this. So again, you can be as thick or as thin with this as you want. Um, I like to have a good transition. So I want a thicker thorax. But we got to be careful with this ice dump. It builds up quick. So let's do that, see how it looks. Pull everything back out of the way. A couple of wraps. And that was perfect. Let's create a little collar with our brown. Whip finish. Get rid of that. We got a little bit of buggy stuff going on. We'll hit this with some glue. A little bit right behind the bead. And we should be good to go. So that there is the Duracell fly pattern. Very simple, easy to do. We got some scraggly fibers. It breathes well, it moves well. Like I said, tie it thick for a caddis, thin for a mayfly, change up the colors. Try it out, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.